Hi guys, Will here from WB Trading, and in this video, let's <laughs> let's just dive straight in. Uh, and what I'm going to do today is I'm here inside the IG platform, uh, and as the title suggests, I'm just going to show you how to place a stop loss and a take profit. Okay, and for those that don't know what these are just yet, uh, what a stop loss does is it really force liquidates you. It takes you out of the market, closes out your position uh, when it's hit. And a take profit, obviously the other side of that, uh, if your take profit, the position is closed automatically at market, uh, depending on slippage anyway. Uh, let's, let's not worry about that for this video. Uh, and again, the trade is, is closed in a profit and the profit is then automatically added to your account balance. Okay. Now, hopefully uh, you can see this okay. Uh, I'm going to have to crop this down to, to fit it uh, into a, a video format. But let's start with uh, the, the deal order and alert tab over here. Now, if we click on the deal tab, uh, what this does is open up what's called a deal ticket. Okay. And you'll use this to, to take a trade. So let's say, for example, we were going to buy uh, this market. So uh, USD JPY, the US dollar against the Japanese yen. We'd click on the buy button. Uh, we'd select our position size. Okay. So let's say uh, 10 would be 10 British pounds per pip of movement. So you can see here it says 11, uh, 5, 3, 4, spot 8. Uh, and let's say we buy the market at 10 pounds per pip. If it goes up to 11, uh, 5, 3, 5, spot 8, I would make 10 pounds. Okay, so we're really we're betting on the direction of the market. Now, can you see this box over here? So it says stop, which means stop loss. Uh, and you've got two options, well, three options actually. So normal, uh, guaranteed, or trailing, okay? Now, the difference between these, so normal would mean, uh, let's say you, you get stopped out, okay? Now, uh, what can happen is you get what's called slipped on a trade and you experience what's called slippage, okay? Now, what this means is uh, the broker, for whatever reason, can't take you out of the market at the exact price that you specified. So let's say you put a stop loss at uh, 11,400 and then the market uh, runs down into that pretty damn quickly. Uh, you might actually get taken out of the trade at, let's say, 11,399 and they might slip you by, by a pip. Now, slippage depends on the market and, and how volatile the market is. But again, we'll, we'll lay that aside for today. So that would be a normal stop. Now, a guaranteed stop would always take you out at the price uh, that you have chosen. Okay, so if you've chosen 11400 you will get taken out at 11400 but you pay a premium to have that. Okay, so, so you do get charged um, a, a, well, you, I'll try and keep this video as simple as possible, as beginner friendly as possible, uh, but you do get charged for having ga a guaranteed stop. Now, uh, the other stop would be a trailing stop. Okay, and as the, as the name suggests, uh, what this does is it trails in your favor uh, alongside the position. Okay, so let's say you buy the market here uh, with the trailing stop here. As the market goes up in price, the stop will trail along with that. Okay, and begin locking in uh, profit along the way. Again, we, we won't go crazy and, and dive into the specifics behind that, but that's, that is what it does. It trails behind price as price moves in your favor, uh, or if price comes backwards, it stays where it is until you, you get stopped out, hopefully in a profit. Okay. Now, if we come over to the, the deal tab again over here, let's say we want to, again, buy the market uh, with, let's say, a, a 25 uh, pip stop loss. There we go, 25 pips. Now, again, we're risking, uh, well, position size wise, uh, 10 pounds per pip of movement. Okay, and obviously we can see this visually here. Uh, we're placing a stop 25 pips away, and that we're therefore risking 250 pounds. So if we get stopped out, we lose 250 pounds. So that's the stop loss side of things. And you can also just drag that and, and place it wherever you'd like to. Let's say we're going to go below the, uh, the recent low. Similarly, for the take profit, again, you can drag that uh, or do this using the, the, the box over here to actually place this uh, in a more static manner. And similar to that, again, £10 per pip of price movement, uh, 65 pips away, £650 of profit is going to be automatically added to our accounts uh, if price 
does in fact get there. Okay, uh, so there you go. So that is the deal tab here on IG. Now, if we just click over to the order tab, it's the exact same thing, okay? But rather than dealing at market price and, and just taking a trade right now, this second, an order you can actually place within the market. So let's say we want to place an order up here above this high. Uh, so we might say, right, let's buy, what price is this? 11.553 spot nine, okay? 11.553 spot nine. So we plug that in. And again, let's say that we want a stop loss down here below the recent low. For example, we want a, a profit target up here where it is. Let's say we're aiming for, for three R, so one to three, risking one to make three. Okay, um, exact same concept. You would uh, do the exact same thing. So stop loss, uh, take profit. It's called a, a limit. Okay, again, we would try and stay as simple and as beginner friendly as possible here. So I won't dive into uh, limit orders and so on and so forth, so forth. But this is your your take profit. Okay, as you can see over here. Now, one last thing I will cover. So uh, let's, again, let's keep this very simple, come over here, is the, uh, the margin requirement down here. Now, uh, to open a trade on this market of this size, okay, of, of this position size, uh, it's going to require £3,841 worth of, of margin. Okay, now I think what I'll do, I'll put a, another video together to discuss margin, uh, discuss leverage, so on and so forth. I, I'm going to try and keep this video nice and basic, nice and beginner friendly, uh, just for those of you who want to understand how to place a stop loss and a take profit inside IG. Again, that's the, the thesis behind this video. Uh, but yeah, let's leave it there for today. Uh, and what I'll do instead is if you have any thoughts, any questions, uh, use the comment section below the video. Uh, I check that every two, three, four days. I pop in there and have a look, have a look and uh, get some comments responded to if they're there. Uh, so yeah, if you do need any help, use that comment section uh, and I'll come back to you within two, three, four, five days. Uh, now that aside, uh, if you would like to learn more about how I trade, that is mechanically, using mechanical rules instead of analysis instead of guesses predictions uh, so on and so forth i'll put a couple of links for you in the description uh, you can use those to click around head over to the website uh, wbtrading.co.uk uh, there's a blog on there i've shared some trades on there some some helpful resources and so on and so forth uh, but yeah that aside hopefully this helps hopefully that adds value for you and uh, yeah looking forward to having you back here on the channel again soon bye for now